Hey everyone, here with a quick video on Carly Russell. Carly Russell was charged, booked, and released today, okay? She was charged with two misdemeanors. Each of those charges can um, get her a year behind bars. So she's um, found guilty of both. That could be up to a two-year sentence. So listen, many people are going back and forth debating upon, you know, whether she should even go to jail. Should she get six months? Should she get two years? Should she get the max? And this is what I'm going to say. Do I feel like she has a good lawyer? I absolutely do. Do I feel like they dropped the ball today when they went to turn her in? I absolutely do. When you see that mugshot of Carly Russell, you're like, okay, was she going for a glamour shot? Now, this girl is absolutely stunning. She's beautiful, okay? Look like she has some lip gloss on to me. Uh, hair was combed nicely, and she's and the face was flawless, okay? And she's smiling in the mugshot. And I'm thinking to myself, girl, have you lost your everlasting mind? At the very least, at the very least, when it comes to court, look a little remorseful. Look like you was up all night. Now, there's a saying that says, you know what, when you're going through something, you don't want to look like what you've been through. But when it has to do with court and people um, thinking or trying to understand whether you're remorseful or not, you need to look like what you've been through. You need to look like you're going through something because every time you turn around, your lawyer said you're going through a little something. Well, what you going through, girl? Because you look good. Now, I think that um, mugshot is going to come to bite her in the booty. But listen, guys, we'll get more into this conversation right after this. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and share screen because we're going to get right into this story. Let me back it up here. So Carly Russell charged for fake abduction tell. Okay, look at that mugshot. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful girl, but son ain't right up in here. Mm -mm, son is real messed up. I mean, gorgeous smile. Uh, look like she got a little lip gloss on, okay? Got her own natural hair because here's the thing about mugshot. If you got any pieces, any wigs on, they make you take it off. So, you know, she was smart in the sense that she didn't go there with a wig on. Then they would have made her take it off and her hair could have been all messed up underneath. No, she went there with her natural hair. So she was ready in that sense. But I think that her eyes should have looked like she was crying. Put some dark circles under there. Look like you a little sad. So people could think like, you know what? You're a little remorseful. This picture right here, and they say a picture is worth a thousand words. You know what that mugshot is saying to everybody out there? It's saying you don't give a darn about what you just did at all. So Carly Russell's attorney, Emory Anthony, was well, shout out to him, tells TMZ, what we're dealing with is a young lady who made a huge mistake. That's an understatement. She's been arrested and she's been charged and she's eager to finish up and be through with it. Well, honey, you better slow down. And um, Emory, you better tell uh, your client that huh, she could be facing up to two years. Through with it? I don't know about 365 days time two going by that fast. She's been dealing with some issues. You know, and they keep saying she's been dealing with some issues. Does this look like a chick that's dealing with some issues? Okay, but we'll continue on. He concluded, we will look forward to going to court. Carly Russell is now facing criminal prosecution and is all because police said she completely fabricated the wild kidnapping story, prompting a massive and expensive search. Prosecutors in Hoover, Alabama just charged Carly with two misdemeanors, false reporting to law enforcement authorities and falsely reporting of an incident. Each charge carries up to one year in jail. And I think 
I think this is just my theory. When it actually happens, we can come back and chat. And people, this is a theory. This is not me wishing, oh, this girl gets the max. No, this is my theory. This mugshot is going to take her down. Because you know what? Here's the thing. The Hoover Police Department, they was pissed with her once they really discovered that this thing was a hoax because they knew before they told us. And now they're even more pissed because they feel like she's playing in their face. And not just her. They feel like the parents are in the way too because they feel like somebody helped her. And I hope there's no evidence that leads to someone helping her because I'm rest assured the police department is going to come after them too because they're mad now. They're showing us a lot of restraint when they do these uh, 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 press conferences, but they're pissed. And today I knew they was pissed because when someone asked, well, when are you going to re release the mugshot? The man turned around and said right away pretty much. Because they wanted to public shame, publicly shame her. But honey, that ain't no mugshot to be publicly shamed about. If you take off that little corner right there, you wouldn't even know it's a mugshot. But we're going to continue, all right? So Carly is now facing criminal pros um, prosecution. And it's all because police say she um, completely fabricated that wild kidnapping story propped in a massive and expensive search. Prosecutors in, in Hoover, Alabama, just charged Carly with two misdemeanors, false reporting to law enforcement authorities and falsely reporting an incident. Each carries up to one year in jail. Um, Hoover Police Chief Nick said Carly turned herself in and was released from jail Friday after posting a $2,000 bond, right? Um, as you know, Carly called 911 earlier this month when she was driving down the interstate to report a toddler wandering along the roadside. So she got out of her car and then disappeared for two days before showing up at her parents' house without such so much as a scratch on her. Now, see, that's some details they got, too, because remember, she went to the hospital to be evaluated once she returned home. So it says right here, before showing up at her parents' house, without such a, as a scratch on her. No scratch, no marks. So that tells them she wasn't roughing it outside nowhere. And, and they already knew she wasn't roughing it outside because so many people were looking for her. If she was outside, someone would have saw her. And that's why I'm telling you, somebody helped Carly. But these are diva thoughts, okay? Since then, police have said the investigation shows that there was no toddler on the highway and Carly was not abducted as she and her parents claimed, and then Carly finally admitted it was all a phony story, okay? Prosecutors tell us they still don't know where Carly, um, where Carly was during the roughly 48-hour period. Um, she was off the grid. Ditto for police, who spent tons of money and resources searching for her, okay? That's the boyfriend that was the boyfriend that wasn't the boyfriend that was supporting her but then didn't support her. He's a mess too. But anyway, we'll continue. After Carly copped um, to the load of BS, her boyfriend slammed her for, his, for her lies and said he's now her ex-boyfriend, a move that came after he initially defended her as, she, um, as he also um, bought her kidnapping lie. So listen, guys, tonight on my channel, uh, we're going to have a live panel. We're going to talk about this topic and debate this topic yet again now that um, she has officially been charged okay, with two misdemeanors. And we're going to talk about this. And, you know, as you chat with me in the comments about this story, keep in mind that you can go look it up. There was an 11-year-old girl. I want to say it was just two days ago. What did she do? She called. Actually, she didn't call. She texted. OK, and, and I learned something new every day doing these stories. She texts the police and said that, you know, this man who has a gun kidnapped her, her, her um, best friend and she was following them. And she made up this whole elaborate story. Well, when the cops tried to locate which phone it came from, they came a knocking on her door. She was there, had the phone where she texts and they arrested little mama, 11 years old. Uh, they cleaned her up. They arrested little mama. And, and they told her, you got a hard lesson to learn. So you got an 11-year-old who you can somewhat 
excuse a little bit for some crazy behavior. And then you got a 25 year old who this is a big joke to her, according to this mugshot. But anyway, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. All my subscribers, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Chat with me, guys, okay? And I will chat back. Let me know what you think about the latest updates on the Carly Russell story. See you on the next video.